funk and I'm blessed. You see the love I got in my flex, I'm so blessed. 20k just on my chain, you say less. I text every day to get dressed, so blessed. Been through the storm and the rain, still blessed. Had a couple hearts and pain, still blessed. Handle the pressure from fame, still blessed. This guy called my name, so blessed. Yes, sir, I'm blessed, don't play, boy, cause I got a man. Taylor made just for this fit, I'm gonna cut the slack. I'm the man, good hearted, shorty with me, I can bet. Shout out to man that done tightened up since they became a dad. Shout out to me. Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of the Cobain Report. I am Rock Cobain. This is female Caesar's out of town, but guess who's home? She's here again. <laughs> Gigi is here with us, our season regular. Today we have two awesome guests. I am not gonna waste time because we need all the time for both of these women. Okay, T Mail, go ahead and get the metros. All right, we are in the presence of a queen, born and raised on the west side of Detroit. <laughs> A gospel heavyweight who is the lead member of a super quartet, Akita Steen and Fire. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Akita Steen. Oh, yeah! Hey, welcome to the report! Hey, wow, wow, wow. And we have another special gospel queen here and another uh, songtress the gos- in the gospel world. You might see her in Jesus Sandals. You can check her <laughs> projects out. You can check her projects out, Revival Part 1 and The Well. The one and the only, Kara Daffin. Yeah, Kara! Kara, welcome to the Cobain Report. What's up? I'm I'm excited to be here. I love this. I'm so glad to have both of you guys here. Two women who mean a lot to me. Mm -hmm. Um, I've grown up with both of them in different ways, Mm -hmm. individually. I went to middle school, Joy Middle School with Kara. And she on the east side. East side, baby. Say like, no. They try to clown me because I'm west side. Just a little bit. bit. I just said I'm west so sorry. Side. Side. And she. Uh, 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 <laughs> you get the first you. X of the day. Y'all all gonna bang so, on me. He west side of the love you. He east side of the west side. I like the west side. No, I'm split. He, oh, he, 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 so, he from, so look, he from the east side, but okay. moved lived in the west, Southfield, uh, Missouri. Yeah. So well, listen, Southfield is east side like, right. look, like I was saying, oh, girl, I went yeah. to school with, with Kira, and <laughs> she was a very talented person while we were in middle school. Um, she did modern dance, and oh. she really was one of the like leaders of the modern dance. So I remember all of this growing up mm-hmm. and watching her transition into where she is now, Akita Steen Smith. I grew up with in church, Mm -hmm. watching her with her father and her legacy and her family, watching her serve and watching her work with her father throughout the years. I remember being probably in my early 20s going over there and saying, Walter Allen Steen, tear up the east side. Calvary. Calvary. All right, so we have two legendary women who mean a lot to me, and that's why um, they are on the Cobain Report. You know, I bring only special guests. You don't have to be the biggest guest, but you have to be special. You feel me? That's so we are in the room with greatness today. Um, we're going to go ahead and let T-Mail get into it, because I know he keep looking over here. I feel like he's he burning my face. Go ahead <laughs> with your conversation. <laughs> no, so we're going we're gonna to get started. And you said... Kira. Kira, Kira I said yes. it wrong. So sorry. It's okay. You said, so Kira, tell us, like, how did you go about getting started in the gospel music you know what were you doing before and what led you into doing gospel music? oh i actually wasn't interested in like i've i've sang all my life with my family with my sisters i grew up in rehearsals you know my mom sang and but singing wasn't like my first love at first i, I used to be terrified petrified to like sing in front of people so I like would do things like dancing and trying to be in plays and do other things to kind of scratch that creative itch but um I think um I'm a PK too so once my parents started a church and you know how it go you gonna leave worship you gonna clean the bathroom right, you right. gonna all, pick up okay. a mother so and so you gonna do everything yes. this one particular Sunday somebody couldn't make it and I ended up leading worship um, and I was just like, oh man, that was that was something I didn't expect to love. You know, yeah. it caught me off guard. I've always loved singing. I always yes. loved writing, but I I didn't care to be in the forefront of mm. all of those things. I'm like, that Lee, worship I, got a hold to that. It got a hold. I can't yeah. you know, I, came, I was like, this is kind of crazy. Worship got a hold to that sister. <laughs> <laughs> You are crazy. <laughs> you yeah. have to be before. He be in there playing drums. You're like, what am I feeling? Let me what stop these sticks. No, yeah. 
yeah, but it just it it hit a little differently at that time, and so I just kept exploring it and just kind of going around that community of people that are different, like because I'm I'm not like a traditional at all Mm-mm. worship leader, Mm-mm. so it was even difficult to find like people of my tribe or just even mm-hmm. similar because I'm always. I'm a wild child. I'm that's you, you, you do trap worship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would call it, no, I would call it like I mean, alternative worship. Try. Like Ooh. I feel like I'm in a so to be honest, mm-hmm. if we go in there, right? right. Let's yeah. go. It gives right. me Von and it give me Rock Nation vibes. So that's yeah, that, I, that means a lot. And, and we all grew up exactly. Yeah. Okay. So for me yeah. to say that mm-hmm. is like we all know Von left a gap. Yes. Mm-hmm. We, yes. we all understand oh that. Facts. So yes, for somebody yes. to be able to walk into that gap, and even when Von left, Will kind of regressed a little mm-hmm. bit. So we really have that missing like I want to worship, but I'm a rock star. Yeah. And you were able and to. It's like, yeah, she yeah. had it in the middle. It's I mean, in the middle for her. Able yeah, to bring absolutely. that yeah. in and able to just show a different side, you know? Yeah. So I think, um, yeah, I was, I would say, yeah, I would say uh, alternative gospel, <laughs> like alternative rock yeah, gospel. What's absolutely. wrong with trap worship? Nothing at all, because you just. <laughs> you just. I, oh I thought God. that. Was She's from the East Side. Was, I thought I did a thing for you. You know, I got in a. It was a whole I, huge debate. About trap worship. Oh, I didn't think I ever. It was no, no. It was a whole to do. Like, and I'm like, I didn't even. I don't call myself. I call it alternative. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, (laughs) No, no, you're good. It's just that people sometimes they get so caught up in what they think something should be that there's no room for something new. Mm -hmm. It's like you don't see a repeat in the Bible. Everybody that is like groundbreaking did something different from the next person i have so 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 much respect for i i spent a lot of years leading Mm -hmm. worship Mm -hmm. i don't anymore but god still love me Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, <laughs> you have an amazing gift. You? Incredible. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> no, she's I she really seriously. Do, and you know what I love? Keep going. Keep going. When you were singing, <laughs> no, when Gigi used to sing, I used to love how you would take an R and B song Girl, and, and make it. it. And I would flip it. I would make that thing. Oh, Tony Braxton Ooh. about Jesus. Because it makes you mean the world to me. You do. Yeah. You are my everything. No, for oh, sure. You it's, did that. I said. She cold bloody with it. She is so cold. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the church lost no, her no, anyway. No. Uh, oh, so, oh, so no. Kikita, I'm going to get right back. Oh, I want to ask you the same question. How do we get to you being the queen of gospel quartet? I said it. You can, you can. Oh, don't, at me. No, don't say queen. At me. I said no. what I said. Because oh, I know. Oh. I had this conversation with TV <laughs> earlier. Because I know who they're going to say it is. And I'm all right with them saying that. Listen. But you can at me, not her. I said what I said. You Go ahead, talk to us about how you got to where you are. I need a breakthrough. I'm ready for tomorrow. Come on, come on. But okay, so don't say queen. You go, you go. Princess, whatever. I said it. I'll take princess. The queen. I'll take princess. We still look. Queen Quartet is come on. But Evelyn you make it look dope. I, what did I tell you? I you said, I, I said dope, Evelyn Turkey. Uh, so, uh, don't wait. I was about to say Lisa Knowles or somebody. So, yeah. don't, yeah. don't boy yeah. Clay was on a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And his mom, mm-hmm. who would have knew? Right. Dope Boy Clay's mom is Evelyn Turrentine AG. Wow. wow. Yeah, wow. dope man. So that means really? now you got to have Toya here. Listen, that's and that's right. his mom. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So talk to me about how you got to where you are right now, where we yeah. are celebrating this first. Take me on the story. Take me on the journey. Yeah, well, you know, I was a gospel. I was a solo artist at mm-hmm. first. I was, oh, I was a solo did? artist at first. And um, I did that. I was, um, it was, it was good. Mm-hmm. I was with um, JP. Yeah, and um, go ahead. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not doing this on this show. No, <laughs> I have gone the whole season and a half without my own. So go okay. ahead. Oh, God. Look, I got two asses. We ain't doing this today. What happened? Go ahead, I, no, go ahead Queen. Go ahead. Oh, I didn't get a whole season without out my ops. Oh, One season. Oh, I did 20 episodes without out no ops. Oh, oh, I forgot okay. I was coming. Okay. I forgot how my brother is. Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Come on well, I was a solo artist. She's solo. Then I went into, then I went, you know, I was yeah. doing choirs. Mm-hmm. I was with choirs. Larry Callahan, SLG. Shout out to my brother. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> New Mercy, Antonio mm-hmm. Clark. Mm-hmm. Rest, you know, rest in peace. And um, 
Then my mother, you know, she was in a group, a quartet group with Ann Scott and Heavenly Stars. Hmm. They had their 50th anniversary. And oh, once they retired, yeah, they retired. And you said you don't know? Your mama's a goat. Okay, your yeah, yeah. Like, hey, mommy. Yeah, yeah, your mama's a goat. She, she my is, mother is aging backwards. Literally. I saw that today. Like, no, literally. Yeah. I'm a grown 40 year old man, so I'm going to stay out this conversation. Right. Go ahead, because I'll say what I won't say. She's, She's fine. Backwards. Come on. Here. <laughs> Long story short, She's though, um, they had their 50th anniversary. <laughs> they had their 50th anniversary, and. Um, they retired, and my mom, you know, Ann stopped singing, but my mom, she wasn't finished. Mm-hmm. Her and another, um, I call her my TT sis, Karen Henry, they were singing with Ann Scott and Heavenly Stars, and they were, they said, hey, we want to keep doing this. Mm-hmm. My mom was like, Kitty, you got it. Mm-hmm. Like, you what have, you she said, and I, I'm grateful to God. You have to go through things, like, mm-hmm. vocally. Mm-hmm. And my mom said, you you have it now. Mm-hmm. She said, you have that, and God has given you something special, and I prayed about it, and I was like, you know, if I really want to do this, I'm, I want to be dedicated 100% in. Mm-hmm. And so we started our group, Akita Scene and Fire. When yeah. I say it's fire, yeah. I'm it's talking fire. about fire. Thank you can check you. out your Instagrams and Facebooks yes. because you want to see somebody work a crowd. <laughs> listen, as an artist, I understand yeah. about crowd where I had to steal the mic. Sorry, Gigi, because yeah. listen, she, mm-hmm. crowd work is crazy. Both of these women. Oh, yeah. That's the crazy part. Yeah. Literally, Both seriously, are. her crowd work. Oh my goodness, Both she know how to usher crazy. in the presence of God. In you two give me seconds. like Tina Turner vibes. Yes, yes. quartet <laughs> Tina Turner vibes. That's perfect. And then you give my me like friend, rock Shonda star just vibes. Said where that that sings with me. Hey, Sean, I see you on here, bro. You be so rocked out. You don't even look at the crowd. She don't. No. You just be in oh, your no. own world, just like. Her Cobain. You know what, wait, wait. I want to ask you. Kara, the song with her back. To oh, my God. She be so bad, though, with her crew. She be locked in with her team know. so hard. I, I want to ask I you do. a question, I though. Feel in Does it bad. take a long time to come from out of that? Oh, yeah. Because it's like you you be in it so heavy and yeah. so deep. It takes time. Like, And I, I just watch, like, I watch some of her YouTube videos, and I'm like, she is just... Oh my goodness, super anointed. And yeah. I want to know how long does it take you to come out of that? It just depends. I know this sounds oh so goodness. strange, but it yeah. does take like time to yes. calm down. Yeah, I was um, going to say that. Yeah. Sometimes, like, mm-hmm. it, and it just it depends on, of course, the atmosphere. It's, it's not always a situation where I have to come down. Sometimes it's a situation like, I'm just ready to go. But sometimes when it's when you really, when I feel like I've really. <laughs> I'm really in right. the presence okay. or we're just oh, no. experiencing like a lot of there before you, you know sometimes altar calls happen like yes. it, like and when you see people like being healed or just set free Absolutely. or just you see the Lord just moving in their lives those kind of things stick with me for a while like I feel like I'm super sensitive to the people around me that I you know that I can I just feel those things and I'm just like yeah. okay mm-hmm. sometimes it, it'd be like a day Wow. Day or two, oh, yeah. three, four oh days, and then I'm like exhausted. I'm like, I have like this burst of energy where yes. I'm like, I can't go to sleep. I'm up. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, yeah. I absolutely. can do it again. Right. Let's do it again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then, goes high. and yeah. then I crash. You know, so I like that one. Yeah, it's, that's yeah, awesome. That's though. the truth, though. Like your ministry is just. Oh, Thank you. No, I admire definitely. you for real. Y'all Thank talk you. to me about y'all writing processes because I know for you writing mm-hmm. is a different vibe, right? Mm-hmm. And I know for you because mm-hmm. of what you do, right? Right. It's a. It's got to be. It's got to be what it is, right? right? Talk to me about your processes. I'm gonna start here this time. Yeah. Talk to me about your process, and then we'll go to care. Well, um, basically, you know what, y'all, the songs that I wrote, I've written for the anniversary. The, um, you this mic, you fight, you doc. The songs that I write, Listen, right? the songs, the, the songs that were written for the anniversary. Um, I was literally, I would wake up at like four or five o'clock in the morning. And I would just hear melodies Mm -hmm. and God would just start giving me the words to say. And I'm writing it down. I'm recording. I like I have my phone out recording and listening to it and play it back. And I'll sit up all night and my husband be like, okay, do your Mm -hmm. she she's somewhere else right now. (laughs) Seriously. So I when I when I write, it's like really, really like late at night. It's late at night. And I have to, like I said, I'll hear I'll hear the melody. Sometimes I won't start with the lyrics. I'll just hear the me- melody and I'll, I'll hum the melody or sing mm-hmm. the melody. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I'll go back to it and do the lyrics. Do you work with, like, mm-hmm. a beat first or the produ- producer first? Well, I no, forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, it's, it's Cortez. Right. So mm-hmm. it, it's a drive, actually. We yeah. gonna t- it's a drive. It's, it's a, a drive, drive. okay? Mm-hmm. So... 
No. Or do you just I, come up with the words? Or? Yeah. I really, I can't wait um, until you guys hear this song I wrote. It's called um, He Answers Prayers. Okay. Mm. And that, oh my goodness. You're so I, deep. Right, she she, 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 she mm. said for real. Mm. She right. said for real. This is one thing I know about these two. It is. They say, and the they reason, say for I'm real. I'm going to say the reason, you know, when I wrote mm. the song, when I took it to the group, like I did the melody, I did everything. And I took it to my musicians and they, they knew what to do. They picked up on them real quick. Mm. But everyone, we couldn't even get through the song. That's oh. how powerful that song was. That's when it's powerful all on that, that joint. Song was. Come on. Yes, yeah. Kira, talk to uh, me about your process. My process is kind of all over the place. Right. Uh, <laughs> and being like Sometimes that, it's yeah. literally like you were talking about um, Love Me to Death. That came from... Um, Ooh, that song gave me goosebumps. A sudden, Whoa. Damn. Ouch. Okay. Father's Ooh. Day. Um, mm. I'm pretty open about my daddy issues, even yeah. though my daddy... Yeah. No, we never uh, But, you know, it... Oh. it that's something that still I feel like just is a void for me. So a lot of times mm -hmm. when I'm in spaces like well, Four Fathers Day, for mm -hmm. example, it's, yeah. it gets tough for me. And we were actually doing, <laughs> we just talked about, this is so pretty. We were doing Pressing Your Presence. And um, oh. I just started saying, Father, you love me to death. Mm -hmm. And now I live. So it was like kind of spontaneous. It wasn't something that I sat down and write, but I kept it in my mind. Mm -hmm. Like, hold on, yes. this might be something. Mm -hmm. And I kind of went mm -hmm. back and worked it you know, through with my producer, yes. and it was a single, like my first single yes. on my own kind of situation. Oh, girl, I wore it out. Okay. Listen, <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't gonna cap to you. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, for a season there, I would play this album so much because I was in a place where I felt like I needed something, right? Yeah. I yes. remember I was, you dropped that while I was in Dollhouse. I had my own story, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And oh, I was wow. going through it like, all right, God, if this really what I need you to do certain things because this ain't going to just keep itself open. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I was in a place where I felt like <laughs> I needed to see miracles performed, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that thing got me through. Oh, when I say through, I'm talking about through. I would text her like, yo, this song right here, that's the one. This the one. <laughs> yes. This the one. And then I found another one. No, I'll never mind. This the one. The river. Yes. This the one. I mean, the well. The no, well. the well. This the one. I mean, the Oh, no, the well. The well. I wrote the well in the car. <laughs> Did you? I wrote the well in the car. It's just a random melody that came to my mind, and I'm like, wait a minute. I feel like this is a song, and it just yes. like yep, mm -hmm. kind of came about. But it was on my first, not my first record. I don't know, second record or something. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't exactly how I wanted mm -hmm. it to be. So when we redid it. The version you hear now. Yes, like, I was gonna. This say. is what I wanted. That's what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Reminiscent of like Maroon Five and Come like on, all the pops, yes. like you mm -hmm. know that we mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. and just give you like, but you mm -hmm. still have a little mm -hmm. of us. Yeah, yeah. You yes. know, I don't. I don't ever want to do something and exclude my culture and my yeah. people. Mm -hmm. Like yes. so, you know, with yeah. the church, we kind of mm -hmm. have all went the way of mm -hmm. away. Oh, you know, yes, from our sound, sound. Yeah. <laughs> just from our sound, and like I don't want to abandon that because it's still very much <laughs> a part of much. my life. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna let it go. Hey, y'all, no, no. yeah. shout so, out to all. Yeah. which are which are processes and stuff. And I know T Mail, stop looking at me. I know <laughs> I got too many questions. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. You are the co-host, but listen. All right, so y'all processes right, and then you get to where you where you feel like the music is good, right? Mm -hmm. Um. When you feel like you're ready to drop, like with your process, where when do you know you're done? Like when do you know that this is a hit record? Like when do you know this is the one? I think for me this time around with Revival Part One, I had to really understand what it was to make a record. Like I yeah. have kind of fallen into the let's just sing everything spontaneously and prophetically and put it on a record and see what happens. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, but a worship yeah. experience, do you a real worship yeah, experience. Yeah, but you can do both. You know, yeah, if you, you want to be an artist, there has to be something polished about your music, yeah, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. So learning the how to balance when to flow and then when to cut and make a record. Mm -hmm. But for us, I didn't know. I felt like I knew when I was happy with it. Yeah. Like when I listen down to the record, I'm like, I'm happy with every choice. I'm happy with every like nobody yes, can come to me and be absolutely. like, absolutely, let's mm. change this. No. And even if they do, it's like it's cool because mm -hmm. I'm proud of this work that I did. Absolutely. So once I felt proud of the work and I knew that this is it was exactly what I envisioned and I didn't compromise like what mm, I wanted to on. hear. Because yep. sometimes producers will come and change your sound. Bro, yes, they, they will. Yes, they you can will. have an idea in mind and they'll make you feel oh, like what God. you have is not or you're not you're not. A, I don't play an instrument. So 
so well, mm-hmm. this is that. And it's like, no, no I want yeah. to hear this. I want this song. I yeah. want to sing this, but I want a trap behind it. Like, yeah. I, yes, I do. Come yes. on. <laughs> yes. This is what I, this is me. Like, this See? is my sound. I, I knew you was going to say Or I want I heavy guitars. Me. Like, I'm not trying to sound yes. like Sunday morning. That's not the right. goal Come for on. me. Yes. That is Your to thing. have an experience, yeah. right? Yeah, so. You. Yeah, so absolutely. You. Yeah. So for you, when do you know it's a done good product? Like, when do you know I, that thing is ready? When I feel it. Mm-hmm. When I feel it in my heart. Tina, like, just like Tina. Yes. yes. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> when I feel it in then. my heart, and I'm and <laughs> literally <laughs> y'all, <laughs> you know. I, you know what? Okay. <laughs> Every now and then, I just like to uh, do something yeah, a little. Really oh, I think, but I know we laughing about it, but I think that is a crazy honor for somebody that really. Because Tina is legendary, looks, yes, legs, everything. Is. So Insane. if you walking in that package, you know ain't nothing wrong with that. And that's the thing, it's, Kira. It's let me tell you, honor. and that that was my biggest thing with my voice. Mm-hmm. I have a raspy yeah. voice. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And Tina, Inspired I was watching up. her show. Thank mm-hmm. you so much. Mm-hmm. I was watching her um, documentary on. Um, Amazon. Mm-hmm. It was it on Amazon? I believe it was. And she said she did not like her voice. Mm. She said, I hate the way I sound, but everyone it, it's giving getting me millions. Mm-hmm. People love me. And um, I'm like, your shows are sold out. You're an icon. I mean at like so, 80, she was so yes. and I had to embrace that. Now mm-hmm. I've embraced that. It's killing the game. And I'm like, game. I mean, you really exude like was she one of your influences? Cause you exude. Yes, her, like, absolutely. Real. Yes. Mm-hmm. Her crazy. and I used to look at Beyonce. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> Who are your influences? Yes, but, Ooh. It, it's so you're talking about crazy. a lot of alternative music. Yes, so I like go back everything. Deep. It's, it's crazy. Of course, I have to say Brandy. Everybody already knows. Okay, yeah. If you Blame. love oh, anything, yeah. then you're going to yeah. love Brandy. But I also mm-hmm. like Paramore. I like, mm-hmm. I love Stevie Wonder. I love Tower Power. I love Earth, yes. Wind, and Fire. Mm-hmm. I was all mm-hmm. into rap. So, like, all of those things. Yeah. Um, oh, gosh. Everybody, yeah. y'all. I, I really like I like country music. I yeah. love Taylor Swift. I think she's I love, a dope yeah, writer. I love, I love, like she's not I a great singer, genres, but she's yeah. so no, she's smart, right? Yeah. She's so smart with her what? writing and her business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. she's smart. No, we this, don't love her. Like this, she's no, not gonna this, sing me oh, down. This, this <laughs> she's not about to sing me down. But exactly. She no, writes. Yeah. Her writing smart. is good. Yeah. She's smart. Taylor she's Swift smart. Dream. Beer on a couch. So do you like, <laughs> so do you like Taylor? What's her name? No. Tanner. Tanner. Tanner, Tanner yeah. Harrell or something like that. She literally looks like Beyonce. But she's like oh, a yeah, country. Like she is. She's, she's dope. dope. And she's dope. She she's is dope. dope. I like Rascal Flats. I, I, I like yes. a little bit of everything. Y'all. Like a little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know what you I really been listening music. to? Mm-hmm. A lot of James Brown. James oh, yeah. Brown is fun. Oh, when yeah. you hear, he, did it. Yeah. It, 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 it. <laughs> when nobody you can do to that. His music like on like man. a that, that's right, right, though. grocery store. That's right. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, how did this man think of this? Okay, mm-hmm. he's one of them he ones. Was, like, yes. He's one of them what? ones. Mm-hmm. I, I love a lot of blues. That's that's the powder <laughs> is crazy. Powder. Powder. For James. T Mill is officially. T Mail's part of the show now. We the act 40 questions. T Mail ain't got one. Come on, T Mail. I know T Mail looking like, okay, can I, I be feeling can so I bad. Chime in? I, I've, been, I've been patently waiting. Yes. I was going to ask uh, Ms. Daffin over here. She was talking about the stage fright earlier. I seen you mention oh, that, you know, in the interview. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. Akita mentioned how you got like really good, you know, crowd control. Mm-hmm. How do you manage to do that, but manage to keep your stage fright from getting in the way of your performance? Hmm. I, I I don't think there's a time where I'm never not nervous. Like I don't think that it completely goes away from me, yes. but I think that it is like it's humbling in a sense because mm-hmm. you know, like I can do none of this in my own stream. Like this is not about me in a sense. So it's like a check, and it helps me to lean more on God and just let Him do whatever He's gonna do. And once Absolutely. like I get out of my head, I'm just having fun. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm just. Yeah. yeah, you can you can have fun in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. Absolutely, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. super yeah. deep and super, you know. Yes. I, it's, it's therapeutic. So. God, not even deep. He deep, but he ain't. He ain't. He's not mysterious. Like they try to make it. God yeah. not yes. deep, spooky. The mm-hmm. fundamentals are just straight yeah. surface. Yeah, yeah. So you do it well. Thank you. Yes, you do. You do. It well. Thank you. Thank and you so much. And y'all do this in the city of Detroit, where <sighs> it's so. Many everybody is at everybody. Try. 
Yeah. yeah. And then y'all stand the cream out. Rise to the top. You know what I'm saying? And y'all stand out. Mm-hmm. You stand out. So I just gotta, mm-hmm. I gotta give you a promotion. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Because it's a lot. Of I think what's dope about. I was gonna say, yeah, it was. It's yeah. really crazy with us coming out being like new. That I guess they want to call us the new kids on the block. Of course, Who knew? but my mother has been doing this <laughs> for over fifty years. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. My younger daughter on the block. Yeah. She said I'm over like, the block. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, so it's just, it's a blessing that everyone is receiving us, just, you know, yeah. supporting us, loving on us, encouraging us. It's, it's amazing. But you got a way, I'm good. sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. Nikita, you got a way of talking to the people that don't support you or the people that don't rock with you. Because Nikita get on Instagram like, I know y'all watching and y'all don't support me. I only support the people that support me. And if you don't support me and fire, God going to bless us anyway. I'm like, you better tell them, girl. I was just about to say. I, I was just about to ask. You know, I'm so, you. her prequel. Okay. Go ahead, cause you the guest. Let her cook. No, I just want to know, like, no, seriously, just <laughs> as a, a fellow artist, how do you deal? Like, cause we. Oh my God, that was my question. All yeah. right, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, oh, how go ahead. do you deal? Just like deal mentally, how do y'all like, deal with the haters? Cause since I know everybody like say. y'all. Y'all. I just okay. So the professional way, what I was gonna say is, how do you like? Fake so friends stupid. or deal with those negative encounters. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was what I wrote down. But talk about it. Negative encounters is insane. Honestly, <laughs> okay, I like that. that, that, like that. that. So, you so, go ahead. I can't be too ghetto on a right. cover. He won't let me. He's gonna let me right. have no, sir, I just, you have to just be kind to people because you never know who you're gonna need in life. And I'm just, my mother is teaching me. She said, Kita, they make, Baby, because you, like Regina said, I, I do get on there and I, 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 and my mom have to say, Kita, just be calm. You know, don't, don't worry about what people are saying about you. Don't worry about, it's people who really are, I don't want to say jealous or who really don't rock with a Kita Santa Fire mm-hmm. and, and they're buying tickets. Yeah. They're coming to the anniversary. Crazy, right? Your biggest haters are going to be the ones that support the most. But yeah. are you coming to support or are you coming to spectate? It don't matter to me. Just uh, con- uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Because okay. I know you're watching. Uh, hey there, Rooney. Uh, <laughs> come on back. Keep keep the party going, as Jesus says. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> because you're just so kind-hearted. Mm. You're just yes. so kind-hearted. So you look at everyone who's opposite of you like, what the heck is wrong with you? Absolutely. Yeah. Nice and you here. know, and, and, and when I receive information... Mm-hmm. And say, people, you know, some people will come to me and say, you're so nice, but how are you smiling at this person? And they didn't say ABC about you. That's and I'm right. like, well, they said it to you. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they, right. said they, said it, they didn't say it to me. They're not going to dare say it to me. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you just have to be kind. You just have to be kind. Yeah. And, and I'm going to throw that question hard. back at you. Yeah. Ooh, I Sorry, think my it's, bad. It's too far for me. Like, you know. now... I know we love mm-hmm. to think that our haters are lying, but sometimes I'm I'm looking to see is it any truth in the critique? Like, yeah. is it something that I can do differently? Like, yes. is it true? I'm gonna say yes. Kira's living oh. in a holy place, so she probably don't even hear what people. No, say. Oh. <laughs> I was, oh, I was gonna it's ask her. It's the opposite, though. I, I, I is it really, really, really that? Does it? And, okay. and sometimes you hold her and get killed. No, you hold her and get killed. No, I don't. I don't know your whole rank and kill. Whole world, my dog. Like I don't hear no. the haters. I, know. I, I am a guru, hear them, but I, I hear that you do. Yeah, you I just hear don't it. You'll be surprised. You? Well, I mean, I don't anymore. I used to mm-hmm. always try to chase down anything that mm-hmm. I heard about myself yeah. and confront it. That's just where I'm from. Yes. This is what you do. Mm-hmm. We gonna talk no, about yeah. it. You know, like mm-hm. what, what's up? Why you say what, what's about me? Is there an issue on deck? Let's talk about it. No, we need to talk. Now I feel like. Sometimes the haters might be the ones that are most honest. So if it's something that mm-hmm. I can take and yeah. I could, fix, yeah. you know, make different Absolutely. about my approach or my performance or yes, I'm I'm gonna listen. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so we, I think we went through that. We experienced a little bit mm-hmm. of that in our first few episodes. Everybody was like, "Y'all cuss too much." Or y'all, the good, it's good show, good content. But y'all, and I'm like, politics is off. And I'm like, no, mm-hmm. you voted wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, listen, we gonna be our authentic selves here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because authenticity will sell. Absolutely. And that thing Absolutely. wins. Absolutely. You know what I mean? You can I can't. I can't be Phil Donahue. I could yeah. be the no. best Cobain I could ever Period. be. Though. Absolutely. You know what I mean? But so it's just like you said, like you went all these episodes not addressing your ops, and we talked about that before. Because it's like, I'm so sorry. 
I would no, rap. No, you ain't doing nothing you wrong. Doing oh, nothing. Doing wrong. They've been waiting to get you. They want me you to talk about them, but them. I ain't giving them no sign on this particular. But the that, point I like what I'm that. saying I is, I it. like to let yeah, I, you, I like to let my life make you feel crazy for talking about me. Yeah, like I yes. like to let my fruit, my function, yeah. everything I got going on, make you feel crazy, and the people you t- told it to. Yeah, now they looking at you yeah. like, oh, nigga, you a hater. Yeah. Like she yeah. absolutely she's actually mm-hmm. popping. Yes, and that's my thing with um, you know. If you don't like somebody say, well, I don't like Akita, you mm-hmm. know, why don't you like me? Because what did you do to make me right, not like you? Right, because you can't just not Probably like so, me. It's never nothing. And yeah. that's like, my it's thing. It's never like yeah, a real like, deep oh, issue. I just don't it's like the way always... she wear her wig. We don't like the way we was she to be wrong. Was Listen, yeah. wait a minute. I done had Come the tear on my cap. Wait, okay. she didn't say it. I don't like the way she wear her wig. She wear a different wig every day. Like, if you can't afford it, just say you can't afford it, little brokey. Okay? I'm going to say what you ain't can't say. I'll cry. I'm going to be for you. I seen her at such and such, bro. And she ain't say hi. Yeah. I've gotten that a lot. People think that I'm standoffish or like... Like rude. I'm. I'm honestly, y'all. You should. You know. I know the vibes. I'm yes. super laid back. And I, and I'm always talking to everybody. But she's, but she's a sweetheart, not, though. I'm just not. When, you were, when I met her, mm-hmm. when I met Kira for the first time, I talked to her. She was so sweet. Mm-hmm. But you know, like you said, people say you stand offish. You have to get to know a person. Yeah, you got to first find yourself to be friendly. I won't friendly. bite. Yeah. Come up to me and speak. I have heard that. Don't stand from afar and look really? and say, "Oh, there she is." Mm-hmm. I'm not. No, I don't know who you are. So don't look and just stare at me and say. Oh, there she is. Who are you? Yeah. Like, come and introduce yourself. And hey, girl, I follow you. If so, I you talk know? to you a lot on Instagram, sometimes you don't look like your profile, so I might oh, even oh, notice oh, you. Oh, no, I ain't yeah. being shady. I'm for real, y'all. No, <laughs> she said it to me. I don't. I can't see you. She I said it's a filter. Yeah, no, so, it's, so the, it's it, no. So from a guy, <laughs> it's the same for <laughs> us when we filter. come pick y'all up. You know what? Don't and the filter don't look like the in real life. And the feet be dirty too. Anyway, Catfish, catfish, <laughs> and buffs off. <laughs> right, we be ugly without the buffs. <laughs> I just freshly shaved, okay? So I just want y'all to know, I'm gonna Not always James. keep a fresh, a fresh new hickey under Ooh, here. You over here looking you ain't got, I'm gonna keep the Bishop Davis on tuck. You hear me? You ain't never gotta worry about it. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm so your tired. daddy is fly. Yes, he is. I heard cool. this my whole life. First, <laughs> like, hey, first they be like, VIP first they be like, he fine. Then I be like, dang, but I'm the one that wanted you night. <laughs> to my ass. Hey, oh, hey. Anyway, oh, your daddy. So I was, <laughs> they always asking that. I be like, old enough to be my daddy. Old enough to be my daddy. Duh. Like, anyway, boy. back off of Greg Davis Sr. Right. Shout out to the bishop. Shout out to Shout you out to again. Bishop. Hey, bishop. <laughs> Go with God, bishop. Right. Anyway. What about me? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> How do you two beautiful, successful women handle being mothers, partners, Mm -hmm. musicians, Mm -hmm. entrepreneurs, and maybe even employees or workers or whatever it is that we have to Mm -hmm. do in our lives to pay our bills? How do you handle and juggle all these things? I'll start here. Oh, you started with me? Yeah, I started there last time. Oh, I think (laughs) you did. You did. I think for me, I have learned like that even though I, I used to always try to put on every hat and everything like so if I'm in motherhood I want to be a mother like I I didn't know how to take off ministry or business hat or you know even being a wife sometimes I would try to do just juggling instead of prioritizing if I'm with my kids and I'm with my kids I have my mom hat on and this is the hat that I haven't like I'm not absolutely I don't talk about can you come sing at my church I don't want to talk about Mm -hmm. can you come and give us a set list for Mm -hmm. this or like I can't I have to literally focus one compartment at a time mm-hmm. yes. so when it's business time my kids understand and then they have that fulfillment because they know when it's their time absolutely i'm with you yeah then they're not like fighting for my attention yes, in some strange absolutely. way because they know mama yeah. is yeah she, she, in, she in she in business now mode. she's in yeah yes, absolutely. let her be in business mode that happens i'm telling you i've watched kids don't get that yet i've watched <laughs> i've watched <laughs> artists mommy, mommy. And entertainers that I've known personally that grew up and they traveled, you know, and their mm-hmm. daughters and kids were left at home. Yeah. And you can definitely see the difference. Wow. Yeah. And those yeah. children who didn't feel that secure attachment with their mother. <laughs> yeah. Because the mom was out earning. Mm-hmm. Right. So I'm a double back. But go ahead. Mm-hmm. Let me know how you're able to juggle these things. I was going to say, I, I really agree with Kira is the same with me as well. I have to make sure I separate 
the, mm-hmm. the all of those. You know, mm-hmm. it's family first, and I tell my group that as well. If y'all have something going on with y'all family, it's family, then ministry. Mm-hmm. So, what you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's the most important. If y'all have an emergency mm-hmm. with your family, and when I'm with my husband and my mm-hmm. daughter, family time, I don't want to talk business mm-hmm. at all. Don't call me mm-hmm. with anything. The anniversary when my mom said, you know, and it's so we're going crazy mm-hmm. right now with mm-hmm. the group, out of town guests and all of that. My mom said, don't call Keita for nothing. Mm-hmm. And Jamel, he's our um, director, creative mm-hmm. um, coordinator, director um, with the anniversary. Shout out he to the like, headline agency. What up, oh, Jamel? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, he was like, don't call Keita, call me. Like, don't, like literally, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, Got to free up that mm-hmm. load. And what I watched Absolutely. too, I think growing up, um, I watched a lot of pastors and preachers and people that did not do that. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And what you have is a lot of residual dust, mm-hmm. whether it's negative or positive from that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have people who are who are still broken and like they have mm-hmm. that abandonment. Yes. And absolutely. it's deep rooted because of their parent being on the road mm-hmm. or making those sacrifices, right? Yeah. Um I think I don't know. Watch my personal self, my dad, right? Mm-hmm. He was doing his thing on the road. Yeah. You know, and I wasn't really there. He wasn't there at all a lot right. until mm-hmm. I was probably about 14, 15. Wow. You know, I went probably three, four years when I was seeing my dad and mm-hmm. he was doing his thing. Mm-hmm. So I yes. can understand for you guys to be able to make that sacrifice and say, you know, these this is priority. That just mm-hmm. shows me that your children and your family is number one. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. we can't lose that. Whoever out there, don't lose that. Don't okay. Lose that. Don't lose that vibe. You got to make sure that family is number one, even when we doing ministry and these things, because your fa- you'll look up and your family be out here in the streets. You mm-hmm. didn't save the nation and lost your house. Absolutely, yes. And being life is so, so precious. Much. It's yeah. here today, gone today. Mm-hmm. And it can be, you know, not, you know, anything, tra- well, yeah, tragic. You can mm-hmm. be somewhere at grocery store and somebody just come in crazy and just crazy. shoot. At, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's why I always put my family first. Yeah. Because and I believe, you just never know. We're not going to be here always, mm-hmm. you know? And I believe, like, your family should be the first to partake in your first fruits absolutely so your ministry Ooh, your yes. life your money absolutely. all the things that your yes. family should be the one that get the best of you absolutely. first absolutely yes. like I, I i understand how you feel because <clears throat> as a pk you always feel like you got the least Short of your parent and yes. everybody got the best of mm-hmm. your parent and i feel absolutely. like just experiencing that or even just that being my understanding mm-hmm. as a child mm-hmm. right yes i want to make sure that my kids are first partakers of me before yes. anybody else before mm-hmm. I give myself to the world mm-hmm. before I give go out and travel and do all the things I want my kids to know that they're first for me mm-hmm. so when they see me or if I'm gone for a few days it doesn't affect them mm-hmm. as much of course your kids are going to miss you but yes. it's not to a, a point where they feel neglected mm-hmm. and they start acting out mm-hmm. and they start like our kids you know, we got pandemic kids, so they missed mm-hmm. a lot of school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. My dad died during mm-hmm. the pandemic, and we had a lot of recovery to do as a family. Absolutely. So my first priority, once everything opened back up, was not to just rush out in the streets. It was to make sure that my kids yeah, okay. were okay. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, sure. So then Absolutely. when it's time to go, I can go. You know, yeah. and I don't have that, mm-hmm. you know, wow. guilt, that mom guilt. Mm-hmm. That comes Absolutely. with Absolutely, yes. Doing what with you do. ministry, yeah. yeah. No, the yeah, crazy Ms. Ms. Daphne, she mentioned something earlier, made me... Think of a Daphne. question. She our age, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, right? <laughs> made, made me think of um, a question when you uh, talked about earlier mentioning people like kind of separate from the church. Mm-hmm. And, you know, growing up in church, we've heard all our lives that, you know, the last days are coming. Mm-hmm. You know, so oh, Lord. with you seeing. <laughs> the last days are coming. <laughs> right. The with last you, days with, are coming. It's wild sauce. <laughs> so with you seeing, you know, um, the people separating everything. Do you feel or do you think, how do both of you ladies think about, is this the last days of the church? Um, no, mm. I don't think it's Ooh, the last days. Ty no. Tribbett. Good Ty Tribbett question. Hey, hey, go ahead. Hey, it's the real hey, journalist hey, here, y'all. No, Come I don't on. think it's the last days of the church. Um, I think that... So don't I be scared. A, I'm not. Don't I'm be scared to say it. This is the right show to say it on. I'm just gathering my thoughts. This is the right show to say it on. I was going to say, because my mom said you have to be very careful. Yeah, yeah. I know y'all do. On what to say. I don't <laughs> think it's the end of the show. I know y'all do. I know. So, uh, <laughs> but I, what they I do They tune in because they know I don't give a damn. No, I don't think it's the end of the church. What I do believe is that it's the rising of a remnant. So that's the reason why you do see a lot of corruption that's supposed to happen. 
I right? agree. So that the ones that are pure and pure at heart are able mm-hmm. to rise up and be set apart. Like that's Ooh. real holiness. Mm-hmm. You're gonna I believe that we're gonna yes, begin to is. see a holy church rise up before we see the church completely, you know, disappear. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. we we're about to see the ones that are true. Mm-hmm. And that, that that are not after a platform, mm-hmm. that are not prophesying to you for profit, mm-hmm. that are not authenticity, corrupt, that authenticity. are not yes. the you ones that profit is crazy yes. work, but yes. they yes. doing it. Love God they and that and, and are and are ones that believe that miracle signs and wonders are for are examples or a drawing for those oh, to believe yeah. that he is God and mm-hmm. not for a prophet. Because yeah. I think right. I think that why we don't see it in church is because our motive is to convince people that we are something that we're not yes. instead of convincing them that Jesus on, is real. Say. Like any instance that you see in scripture about yes. him healing someone, he says to go and tell, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. So it go was tell never about... Who I am. Yes. yes. It mm-hmm. was never about look what the Lord did for me in a sense, yes. but it was look at what the Lord can do. Do mm. come right? on. Look at who you he better is. Preach. The one that he's, that's been prophesied from no, old to new. Yes. It's here. He's Absolutely. here in the flesh now. Absolutely. So I, I just, I don't know. I view it a little differently. I don't, Absolutely. I don't think that the church is done. Clearly. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I was going to say, and I, no. I agree. <laughs> I agree with what she said. You're going to see those the, those pastors that are authentic, mm-hmm. that are real, mm-hmm. and not just mm-hmm. trying to gain a profit or you know Ooh, doing it for show. That profit word is real. Absolutely, real. Real. absolutely. So yeah. I totally agree with her one hundred percent. I don't, I don't believe we had, the church the, the is that awesome. Fine line to mm-hmm. all of that though is the fact that if you are dedicating your life to this and mm-hmm. you yes. say yes to this, at some point, mm-hmm. business does come in. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. It's not right. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. doubt that the people don't understand that. My question to you guys is, how? Mm-hmm. I won't say how. Like, what switch or when does the switch click for you to be like, okay, especially for you, mm-hmm. <laughs> because you live in the hope. Yes. Oh, God. Yeah. Yes. Here, yeah. Here be I'm deep. Right. Like, she yeah. really yeah. is deep in her yeah. worship. On stage, you're singing no, to deep. us sorry, backwards. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's smoke all in the room, whether you have a smoke machine or not. I don't care. Whatever you sing, there's smoke it in is. the room. It's the, nat- it's the natural <laughs> smoke. <laughs> the bird and burst. It is. Like, that switch for you where it's like, oh, God. Oh, okay. I get what you mean. So, and, and also because you mm-hmm. were with Tasha Cobbs, Tasha okay. just experienced some yes. terrible oh, God. Yeah. I'm sorry if you watched. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know if you signed NDAs. Very I might have about. to put this over here to you. But how do you <laughs> prevent? That's what I'm like, talking how about. do you prevent <laughs> like bad business? And because what she really did to me was it was bad business, and then she emotionalized it with her fan base because this is spiritual worship mm-hmm. type of work. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, how do you prevent that holy place resident you are? How do you <laughs> prevent that from messing Playing up the business? Paper. Oh, okay. So for me, I cannot speak for Tasha. I don't know what that situation was. I'll tell you all. Like, oh, so how do I can't. I can't speak to that. I can tell you what I know personally is that she's always upheld her end of the bargain. Uh, Whatever it is that she says she wanted to do or needed to do or was going to do, she always did it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if this is just a moment that was just. Honestly, I said, I just think it was just a double booking. It could have been. I I literally do not know. Like, that's the real. I don't know. Um, But for me, um, in order for me to just stay in a place where I can just only minister, is I have a manager that handles Come all on. the things for the people to hear. Yeah, so that no. all I need to do yeah. is get on the stage and minister Come and sit on. down. But the business, it includes me, of course. I yeah. know what my contract says. I'm yeah. very aware. But the business is not my yeah. ministry. So, yeah. so, so look, this is a place that I had to get to, right? Mm-hmm. Because I struggle with this. And this is something that T. Mill and I always talk about and Caesar, mm-hmm. where 
I hate when people come to me about talking about business and money and stuff, right? Because I'm just so focused yeah. on being <laughs> Cobain and yeah. being like the person, right? Mm-hmm. I don't want to get into that with you. I don't want to. I don't want to lose the relationship that we could possibly have once I drop to you what I really want. Yeah. So I've had to learn. He's been teaching me, like, bro. You have to, your value is your value. Absolutely. You have to ask for your value. Stop giving stuff out for cheap prices and little stuff just because you like, that's my friend. Like, mm-hmm. that's cool. And your friend is coming to you mm-hmm. because your friend understands what you bring to the table. Absolutely. You don't understand who you are yet. Yes. Mm-hmm. Talking. My, my best friend, my Jeff, goodness. Jeff, Jeff Benson. One of the- oh, hey, Jeff. Jeff Benson. Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Amazing. I mean, yes. he's incredible. Hello. And, and he loved God for real. He really yes. does. Like, Jeff really loved God. And I literally was in his ear like, dog. Mm-hmm. Let these people pay you, bro. Mm-hmm. Like he was, business he business. really loved God, and it was. It, I mean, his business is on point now, but it was just it's real. It's real people like that. Mm-hmm. Like they just have a real big heart for mm-hmm. God, and they forget the business part. So you say you don't want nobody coming to you. I ain't like that. Come to me. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna read every page of this mm-hmm. contract, and I'm gonna submit mine back to you. Yeah, like, but right. I, I always feel like I, I just to get feel like it's season. smart too to just have a. Uh, Somebody in the middle, yeah, you know, you that, have can to. Say, that you can go to and even vent it out. Like this ain't right. Yeah, I'm yeah, not doing absolutely. it for this, or I will do it for this. Or tell mm-hmm. them don't worry about this, because mm-hmm. there are t- like absolutely. I don't charge for every single thing that I do. Mm-hmm. Like I understand mm-hmm. that sometimes there's a seed that needs to be sown. Yeah, I understand sure. that sometimes people just don't have it, mm-hmm. and I, I'm not the kind of person like if you're not paying me, I ain't coming. Mm-hmm. Like, but what's your budget? Take advantage of me. You because get what I'm saying? We can work with like, the budget. Knowing what the balance <laughs> is for this whole thing is a real thing. Because some people mm-hmm. will. Absolutely have it and be like, well, you're gonna have a million views on this. No, they are they, on my they do. I've had a lot of people so, do me like that too. And I'm and like, hey, I don't wanna be on your platform. Because I, I have think, my own okay, platform. This is silly. You hear me? <laughs> I have, don't tell listen, me that. I'm in that no, bag. Okay. Let's work Ooh, together, I'm in that bag right now. I'm right. in that one bag right now. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really need Mm-hmm. I got my own sh- to talk on my own show. So yeah. I- absolutely. No, nah, so on, so she bro. said something, you know, uh, mm-hmm. about just pertaining to the business wise. Like at one time I was DJing and mm-hmm. it was a preacher. <laughs> what happened? Oh, God. <laughs> they had me come, you know, do a Halloween. Uh, me and my wife, and she came me. along. We did a <laughs> yeah at the church, right? Okay. Uh, Hallelujah uh, night. Uh, Right. Okay. Like, uh, this is the this is the like safe Halloween, right? So what okay, they're doing man. is safe they're <laughs> right, right. They're That's uh, crazy. uh having their own like entertainment. So I was the DJ, you know, mm-hmm. so I mm-hmm. got to set together with all the gospel and all that other stuff. And I don't know why, but preachers will play with you, you know, because like yeah, they will. Yes, they the will. lady that they asked me too. to come, you know, mm-hmm. because honestly it don't have anything to do with God. I'm just a good person, you mm-hmm. know. And so the lady asked me uh, about, you know, what I'll be able to come and she just started forcing pay on me. So I was okay with it. You know, mm-hmm. okay, y'all gonna pay me. So that's what I was expecting now, you know. Mm-hmm. So when end up doing the event, basically, you know, standing around, you know how that go at the end. Mm-hmm. I don't see the no way, envelope. Not the church, not the musician uh, stand. Yeah, just yeah. Trustees to come out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And yes. got to blow in the car. And I, I believe, you know, God <laughs> is in all of us. You know what I mean? Oh uh, and God. so at that time, in my oh mind, God. me and God tore that church up. You know what I mean? Because you didn't want to give me. <laughs> he flipped the table uh, again. Yeah. He the table yeah. Again. But because I'm a good person, like I said, like. Me and God I just, tore the church up. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. so uh, what I did was I just let it, you know, roll off and just left or whatever. But. That that forward. was just wow, yeah. Mm-hmm. Moving mm-hmm. forward, that's you know, exactly you have to business is business. Yeah. Yeah. No matter if it's yeah. ministry, whatever it is. Give me my ten percent. You know? no, <laughs> for you too, no, though. Is, 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 I'm, I'm, but like mm-hmm. we we can't approach. Uh, one thing I learned mm-hmm. that even if there is no money. There is a contractual understanding. Yeah, right? absolutely. So business, business is, and it's nothing wrong with saying, "This is what you want." Okay, here you go. This is my. Contract mm-hmm. and uh, I need my Ouch. money as I soon as I walk it. in the door, and then yeah, we I'm I don't want to wait I after church. Like the good hearted, the good hearted people of the church absolutely. now. Absolutely, like our generation, our group, like we grew up in church, like mm-hmm. we love God for real. Like I said, it's so to you again, Jeff. I'm glad mm-hmm. that it's yes. an understanding yeah. now that. I can serve God, I can be in ministry, and I can capitalize on myself at the same time. So, mm-hmm. respect to all y'all that do it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. No, definitely. You. I do think that um, there are boundaries that we have to set for ourselves mm-hmm. personally when it comes Absolutely. to business in general. And church is one of those places that you definitely have to do it because mm-hmm. 
It's a yeah. hospital, and them people in there are not all healed. You, you hear know, me? Absolutely. Um, like yeah. I said, on the side, you know, I didn't. Yeah. Shout out to the pastor that tried not to pay me. You're crazy. <laughs> we know the story. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord, saints. Oh, my, my. Amen, hallelujah. Story. Amen, Amen, hallelujah. The he nosy in me want to say what? what uh, I want to tell you. Okay, so I, I'm glad you open up you. this box. Let, let, right. let me get my... Let me get my... tell us. <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, this so this wow, reverend wow, tried wow. to play on my top. <laughs> and, oh, my God. What happened was... I'm scared. So... I went to. Is the uh, Reverend from here? He is from Ooh. here. He's from the East Side too. Uh, that East Side. I would be petty and shout that out, but I don't want to. I just the reason why I don't want to is because I ain't giving no clout on my platform. Feel me? Absolutely. But yeah. Ooh, there you, you know there I you call go. your name. I swore you don't, out on don't, Facebook. Don't, anyway, don't so I spray some special. Oh. I sprayed all right, and it wasn't oil. Anyway, oh. um, so. The, the, the Rev tried not to uh, pay me for my drumming for the day. Okay. And um, I called him and we went back and forth on the phone. He didn't answer. So back in these days, I don't know if you remember before the iPhones, they had those kind of like phones that flipped and they were like mm-hmm. the text and you can yes, close it, but yeah. it would still be on. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm leaving a voicemail like, hey, I ain't get my money, blah, blah, blah. Close the phone, but the call ain't in. So he heard me talking to the homies. <laughs> he called me right back then like, Uh-oh. oh, you oh, you're here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he like, all right, you can meet me at my house then to come pick up your money. I'm like, all right, cool. So I go to the house. Something in my brain was like, why he not invite me to the church to get my money? Normal pastors tell you to pull oh, up to the church. They don't tell yeah, you to come to their house. Yeah. So I end up going to the house. Um, when I get out, he come outside with basketball shorts on and Jordan's like, he ready to own some other type of time. Oh, you got to tell so, me this after off. So, so, so listen, <laughs> so, so I'm like, so when he come out, you know, me, I'm from the east side, so instantly when he started talking crazy, you know, wop, 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 his wife, uh, she like, yeah, if you hit my, she come to the door with a gun, she like, if you hit my husband one more time, I'm going to shoot you. Oh, one more time. No problem. Give me one second. So I went, went to, to go get his I went to my car. To Lord. I went to my car and said, I had already came with my sword of protection because I was already thinking okay. that I brought my Bible and all my rods and staff that covered me. I was ready. Okay. So when I pulled out oh, uh, my slingshot for Jesus and for David and Goliath, Your Bible. Your Bible. My, when I pulled out my Bible, hey. I'm Bible. the one. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love this Sunday school. Come Let's on. Yeah. No so, so I no end up. This ca- is like the message Bible. So I end up <laughs> casting <laughs> Three stones in the air. <laughs> and as I cast the three stones in the air. Okay. Mm-hmm. I went to work and the police came and got my ass. <laughs> oh, oh, really, bro? Yeah. Oh, God so I said, end up, go see, God I end up said, getting get time. I end up getting time. Come on, Paul. And end up doing, that was the thing there. That was my, that was my uh, lot to carry that time. I ended up going to jail for 72 days behind wow. that. I had a felony on my record for a lot of years and stuff behind that. So when I say I've lived church, I mean, I've loved church. Went through it at church, slept at church, cleaned the church, the toilets, all that. I am church. Wow, yeah. Went to yes, jail, went to jail, went went to jail, jail for church for because Lord. he didn't pay me. For the and Lord. the Just prosecutors like literally was yes. like, <laughs> They, I mean, he was older and I was young and it's just what it was. It, right. it was, I got bumped, uh, railroaded and I ended up, you know, not having to do what they wanted to do. But I had a, you know, I had some dealings with church. Yeah. So I had wow. to forgive a lot of stuff. You mm-hmm. know, I don't have nothing on my record now. Thank God. That's awesome. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I've done Thank the work you, to be able to repair my life. Mm-hmm. But this man literally told my life up for five to seven years mm-hmm. because he didn't want to pay me because he had a attitude problem. Wow. Grown ass man. And told you to come to his house. And told me to come to his house. So when I went there, I whipped his ass. Anyway, <laughs> let's get this going because y'all know I get mad. Get come on. Bless him. Look at my head. But I'm but sweating. You know what? I want to know, but I want to tell you this. You talking about St. Lazarus? I understand what you went through <laughs> then in the past, but I'm so <laughs> proud of you now. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Because you yeah, have yeah. really, really changed. Yeah, I'm sure. very proud of for you. Sure. And God is just blessing you over and over and over again. Thank you, So sis. I'm happy you're not, you know, there. No, yeah. I forgave church. I forgave the people. Um, I was able to build my relationship back with God. Absolutely. And now look what he's doing for yes. you. I mean, because they watching. Absolutely. Yeah. They still watching. Absolutely. They still watching. Trust me. Watch. I see him in the view. And they're always going to want to hold you some, to who you used to be. Yeah. That's why I think it's mm-hmm. so good to hear you know for sure. Like, oh, yeah. I, you this know is what you my yes. relationship. Yes. Oh, yeah. and nobody else is going to dictate, no. you know, absolutely. how I feel about Christ. No, I am mm-hmm. totally free when it comes no. to my relationship with Christ. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm in a place, a good place. I'm in a good place mentally when it comes to my relationship you know I am very understanding of things and mm-hmm. everything when it comes to like religion and people being weird so I'm in a good space like you know what I mean I didn't let that dictate cause you know right. they do be being weird 
They do be being yes, weird. Yes, absolutely. Um, they do. We just right. had this conversation with Charity. Mm-hmm. Charity, they are very weird and they like to put you in a box and like do all these things. So mm. um, I am at a free place. You know, I've forgiven a man, I've forgiven his family, I forgave everybody, even the wife. You know, I forgave wow. him because mm-hmm. I'm doper than them. I've been doper than them. I was doper than them when I was playing at their church. That's why they could only pay me $50. Oh. So, uh, oh. it was the principal oh woman. <laughs> <laughs> it was nah, the first way to miss. Yes, you this was their change. Everything. Say and you were to go to jail you for fifty dollars. I did. I did. I did. I did. But you this was really prayed like on that. I was twenty four. I was twenty four. Hey, I was twenty four. So I was still hot and young. And back then, I would beat your ass for pulling over on the light. I the wrong way. Say, yeah, you was high. I used to be. Oh, yeah, I used to be wow when I was younger. So like, and bullheaded. Like, listen to me. It was the point. It was the principle because you're not gonna play with my top, bro. Church. And then think about this, bro. Church and these pastors has gotten away with stuff for so long That's that crazy. how much do you take before you finally say I'm whooping one of y'all ass how many times you but you say it's in the bible it's the bible it's in the bible it's not the same <laughs> was that 72 days a it's dunk. a donkey was the 72 the days worth the 50 dollars well today she's in Nazareth she's in Nazarene it's with us was, Whatever. was, was <laughs> the 72 days worth the 50 dollars um, no but let me tell you what, I, what was worth it though Standing on fucking business. Oh God, oh. I, I was worth okay. it. Okay, this is okay. Your my, my, so my life. I will give life. you. No. I will give you back the I'm email. But anyway, standing oh, on business was worth it for me personally because that man ain't played with nobody else since then. I ain't played with nobody yeah. else since then because he know you have to learn that there are consequences behind your actions. Just because you're a pastor, you don't get free reign to dog and, and do whatever you want to do to people. Absolutely, so it's respect. The civil rights respect. leader. I had a job and everything. For I the drummer. Well, you was, no, I'm talking about, you, you don't know what I was about to say. Go ahead. You was you our was Malcolm X. You was the civil X. rights leader for <laughs> the musicians. Oh, church the musicians mm-hmm. with churches who don't have a budget for their music department. Probably so, because it's a lot of us, though. That's the thing, though. If you got somebody like me who will do that, right? Imagine how many are struggling in those situations not yeah. saying nothing, right? Mm-hmm. Um, or not, or the parent... Or the pastor is abusing it or doing what he want or here 35. I mean, I ain't right. got 50 this week. I can understand right? you don't got the budget. But just don't gaslight me. Don't play with yeah. my mind about it. Right. Me. Let yeah. me make the decision and yeah. say, yeah. you know what? Oh, you can only do 50. Okay. Yeah. I can don't, work don't with that. You know what God told but, me to do this. And, 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 then then to me and try <laughs> yeah, to trick don't. me and say the devil didn't got it in me. Yeah. Don't right, right, no, right. Yeah, and then a lot of these churches really ain't paying too much shit anyway, to be honest with you. Nothing. Oh my God. I feel like Chris on my own show. Okay. This is what I be telling C. I edit the cusses out for y'all. My anyway. kids, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my God, we're so sorry. Okay, okay, oh, anyway. man off. My but like I was saying, um, yeah, I do feel like I stood on principle. I feel like what I, it was just what I needed to do at that point in time. Um, did I regret it? I probably regret um, the shooting part, but yeah. the standing on you business. Should. No, I shouldn't, because they, no. You, you can't uh, shoot people for $50. Why not? Whatever. Yeah, but you know what? Like anyway. he said, he was young. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you I know learned, people that you learn. Oh, I mean, we talking about Detroit. Like you people said, it's the principle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a Detroit yeah. thing. That is the a Detroit thing. To not pay me after I come yeah. do the job you asked Greg. me to do. Somebody said Greg is going to be Greg. <laughs> yes. Tell them I love Greg, them. I know that. And that's why yes, this is the Cobain report. Now this has been T Mail. You got something else? Because you know, before I do it, you always come back with a question after I do it. You ready? We good. You good? Okay. It's been a great episode. I have two Detroit legends here. Um. Yeah, and y'all know I'm gonna be me. I love y'all, and I thank y'all for coming. I'm gonna give y'all one round to tell us where we, what's coming up next, what we can look forward to. I know you got something coming tomorrow. We will be a part of. So I'm gonna start here this side. Let us yes. know Instagrams what you have coming out and all that good stuff. You can talk to the hard camera. Oh, Woo. so um, I'm looking to release a single really soon, and uh, I will be at what is it called? Oh. She won't fail. Yes, she will not SC fail. With my sister Shayna Wilson Williams. Hey, Shayna. So, ladies, <laughs> gentlemen, come out and yes. support. And yeah, that's why I'll be in the meantime. Woo, but I'm excited. Woo, 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 woo. Super excited. We appreciate the ladies coming out. Check us out on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Follow the brand, blessed underscore Detroiter. Go with God. You be blessed. That's right. Key to what you got going. Tomorrow is our first anniversary of Keita Stain and Fire. <laughs> and um, we have our it's single out, Breakthrough, and we're working on new music. 
um, we're hitting the studio right after the anniversary. Like, yes. I'm just, just like Tina just, Turner. Come on, hey, you go. <laughs> working. When you were a young boy, did you, you have a puppy? I was about to be so messy right there. I'm so glad y'all started singing because I was going to say, you going to be at your life recording. Trap that out. That's oh. true. You made it. You true. know what? I, I, I cannot. I can't win. Can 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 Greg going to be Greg. Listen. <laughs> Greg is going to be great. <laughs> we will be so messy yes, sometimes. Yes, you do. Oh, like, subscribe, and share. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Kobe I Report. I can my turn. Sorry, uh, Gigi. Oh, we are being sad, bro. Please tell us about That's the book. Let's go, Gigi. Let's go about the book. <laughs> tell our ladies where to find the book. Come on with the book. That is so funny. GigiFernando.com for everything. Period. Yes. I do have incredible books lined up. I'm super Come excited on. about that. Congratulations, thank y'all Z. It's two girls here. Yeah. And that's so cool. Who around the world? Who around the world? I just really, 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 Seriously. A good quartet drive coming yeah. in. Nah, oh, this boy. is documented, right? Hold on. This is documented, right? No, no, no. I'm serious. I'm 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 that mm-hmm. the, the backgrounds like you have oh, this was God. my issue with singing background like mm-hmm. and I, I, mm-hmm. this is my struggle you have to hit every note right the yes. first time the very yeah, first time I absolutely. can't and with do other that. people like, at the same time so. yeah, yeah I'm more yeah. of a free type of like okay I'm gonna be awesome mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's me thank you bro I thank you so much, much. I can't <laughs> I'm, I gotta fold my note I don't know how a key to be doing it she sing and do the, all the movements at the same time. I be in heels. Girl, don't move. Jeez, no, heels. it's work. Trust me, it's work. In, oh, in heels. heels. It's a lot of practice. In it heels. is. In heels. Yeah. Bruh, crazy work. I will write for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There I got you go. You. I can't Because, yeah, I want, with our group, I, I want to, we have a different, unique sound. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, y'all heard Breakthrough. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We have a different, do. and I want well, it different. I don't want that old school, you know, traditional. Um, Quartet, yeah, but, and I love it. Then. Don't get me wrong; I'm not, you know, to each his own. Mm-hmm. Um, but I wanted but something, something different. different. I wanted yeah, to be you. Yeah, you, you, you already got something bad. different going. Right. I think yes. you definitely are in the right niche, both of you ladies. Thank you. Um, yeah, I love, Thank I love you. the vibe. So, all right, we about to get out of here, y'all. I can't say what I you normally say because they're gonna it. be crying. Mm-hmm. So I'm just gonna say it's a wrap, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, so boring. So boring.